Hello, and welcome to the Brutal Legend commentary with the Natural Born Gamers. I am the Iron Patriot 1, and I will be your main commentator here. Join with me are ShadowDude17 and Crispy Chicken, the fat ass fuck. Ah, Brutal Legends. Oh man, this is probably my the best game I've ever played. This was one of the good games that actually came out back in like 2009. Just keep walking, yeah, I personally casual. think it should get a sequel. I really do. This game is very underrated. I will definitely say that because, you know, games like Call of Duty and all that stuff like that were pretty much released at the same time this game was. So I think this game is just really underrated. Yep. Barely know anybody who actually played this game. Jack Black is awesome. As far as I know. And just so you all know, this game is based mostly around heavy metal music. They have some shitty bands in there like Cabbage Kid, so where the hell their name is? Garbage. Dear God, that's not... Garbage Boy? No. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think it's Garbage Boy, or is it Cabbage Boy? I don't know. Garbage Boy is, the, Garbage Boy is the band that's in, the Maple Leaf band that's in here. Yeah, well, apparently that's the actual band, and they... And it's for shits and giggles, telling them that how terrible this band is at metal and how metal's become the way it is today. Very much. You there, Chris? And yeah. If you actually take a close look, he's like, he's saying how it's an album that no man should ever possess, and it's listed under forbidden metal. Go ahead. Open it. Yeah, this area, this uh, intro actually got um, third party because, I don't know. Maybe because of the filming at the beginning. I'm not too sure why it got third partied, but I have no idea. So, only like the pretty badass uh, screen. Oh, I, I do love how the uh, menu is in here. That's probably one of my favorite parts about this is how the menu works. You know, he's just putting the uh, album cover away and everything like that. And pulling the disc out. found that really awesome. I'm only playing on gentle mode only because I don't want to... Uh, I'm just doing this for the contrary. Yeah, and just so you all know, I am the main reason behind the Brutal Legends uh, video game being on our commentary station. Unfortunately, I do not have the technology with me right now to record things. Ethan is our main man to record. At least for now, until at least you get something to record. I mean, Chris also can record, but he has issues with his yeah, Mac right hey, now. I'm, hey, I'm getting, yeah, well, I'm getting paid this next weekend, so you can... Yeah, give me a list of things I need to get, along with a new fucking computer. Well, I can tell you how to set up your da how to set up your Dazzle, so you know it works good. Because the Dazzle, you know, for a for starting out for recording games, it's really easy to set up. Yep. Oh, and the, on our chat, and so you all know, we are have another channel, the Leviathan Productions. Pretty sure someone else took the full name, so we have to look up what our name is on YouTube, and we will soon be starting a series uh, for Halo, kind of like Red vs. Blue, called The Right to Kill. Hopefully we get enough actors, and we actually have a good director along with filming. So, future reference, we will be having a web series going on. Thought you had to put in that little advertisement in there, huh? Hey, someone's gotta hear about us. And yes, this is sponsored by Leviathan Studios. And there is Eddie Riggs, the most badass person in all of existence. He can build anything. And that's just fucking awesome. Uh, no, 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 the fact is, is that he looks like a, just a big buff Jack Black. Yes, Jack Black. It's everything Jack Black wanted to be. Failed at but got a few things right. I don't know, I haven't seen a movie with Jack Black in, like, forever. Uh, I think I saw one recently. Wasn't it that Gulliver Travels movie? Yeah, that. I think that's the newest one that I've seen him in. Yeah. I can't even remember the last By the way, this is that shitty band that is supposed to be what metal became today. The early, early 70s. Earlier, like the early 70s. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Line. It's a difference. <laughs> Why the hell have the option to turn the off the vulgar language? Then my other to keep it on. Please let him fall. 
Because it does sound funnier when it's beeped. It kind of does. I have to admit that. But come on, this is a natural born game. That, that's commentary. Who cares? <laughs> that guy with the mustache, he's, he's probably me. Good fucking, I don't like these guys. <laughs> this music is terrible. Well, that guy, I'm a heavy metal fan, but this band is just terrible. This make-believe band, and if they do exist, for the love of God, I hope they die. Well, it's funny, because that guy, that mustache guy, his character model is based off the roadies in this game. I know. Only he just wrote it. Only he doesn't have a thousand amps on his back. You'll find out that later if you have not already played the game. Now, just to start off, the premise of the story is that Eddie Riggs gets sent back to a medieval time, or even a medieval future. It's kind of confusing because there are certain items in this. Story in the quests that tell you you're in the past, but in reality you're actually in the future, so it's just complete. They kind of fucked up there. Yeah, it's kind of good that you actually explain that because like the first time I played this game, I literally had had no idea what was going on. And I wasn't really paying attention to the legends that were in here, the legends that you could find all around the hub world. Yeah, well, legends actually tell you that you were in the future, not the past, and it, the entire story that you're playing. Eddie Riggs keeps saying that he's in the past. Yeah. Well, like I said, I wasn't paying attention to much of the uh, the legends at the time. I just wanted to collect them. So, yeah. And if not, none of you know the story, that guy's hands is in the form of the rock on horn. The uh, hand horns or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not a rocker, so I don't know it. Yeah, it's the rock on hand shape. Oh, what is Yeah, when you have your middle finger and your ring <laughs> finger down. And, and that, my friends, is Armageddon, the Metal Beast, destroyer of the world. Or cremator of the sky, whatever the fuck they want to call him. Oh, I guess maybe he's burning alive that audience. And they seem to love it. Yeah, they. But now you hear screams of terror, yet they're still cheering. Yeah, of course, they're still but, cheering. I love being burnt! It's the best thing ever. Ah, uh, jeez. And yes, this is your loading screen. Two red eyes looking at you, staring into your soul. <laughs> Boy, if the, all the loading screens were like that, I swear to God, I don't think I'd ever... Like my dog. Do I would even... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if, that... like, if you look a pug straight in the face, it will, looks like it's staring into your soul with a sad face, going, I'm sorry. I swear to God, if that was the loading screen, I don't think I ever touch this game again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love I mean, I love games like this, but if it's a game that can stare right into your soul, count me out. <laughs> what do you think Minecraft is? <laughs> oh well. Every time I play with Chris on Minecraft, he's banjo. I don't get a stare into the soul type of face. I get a derpish face. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, Chris, are you and still by the way, there? the song that is currently playing is what is it called? It's a song by Black Sabbath and Children of the Grave by Black Sabbath. That's what it's called. Pretty badass song, especially when it comes to this part. Yeah, it's funny too because this separator. It's funny too because this song does not count, does not make the, uh, the this first part here a third party, a third party match content, but the beginning hey, does. I don't get it's that. But later, once we get into like I think it's like part 17 or something like that, uh, when um, and by the way, fans, we are not going all the way to part 17. We're going to go to part four and then skip to the somewhere in the middle. And then we're going to skip again to the end. No, we're doing the whole thing. We're going to do a whole 20 parts. A whole 20 parts, dude. Fuck. I did not record it for nothing, dude. Can't wait until I start recording. No, I am not deleting that recording, dude. Especially how long it took me, dude. I'm, go I'm the one going out of my way to record all this crap. I'm sorry. And grateful. 
and whatever word it'll take to get you to stop being so pissy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let me look at my dictionary of grateful words. Uh, it's, a, it's a dictionary of brown nosing. There's a difference. Speaking of which, Chris, are you still here? Yeah, I am. You're off. <laughs> you're awfully quiet, dude. How does that? How does I'm just. Brown -nosing make I'm observing. You I've never first? seen this before. Yeah, I know. You still haven't touched this game, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Now in this game, but it looks like something I must. I've done get. all I could at this point. You must get. You already have, Chris. Oh yeah, I already have it. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you just bought it for me, dick. Play it. And if you haven't learned, those guys were actually demons. And he is on top of a giant skull pile full of, of both human skulls and skulls of things I don't even want to know. Thanks for telling me, Eric. I had no idea that the camera that was panning out was showing me what I, you just told me. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice try, lady. I was so trying to build suspense, are, Dick. <laughs> and now we have an evil nun kind of big, who, demon, quite so frankly, uh, Jack Black has terrible taste. Ah, knew it. Big, ugly demon. I remember when I... Damn, I lost 50 bucks. Sexy, though. I remember when I first played this, playing the demo. This is probably like one of the best demos I like ever played in like in a very long time. Cause it's like, oh god, did she just spit on me? Learn to chew your food, lady. Cause like, wait, I think I this is like one. Of, Brutal of Legends was like one of the demos that guy. weren't like those 30 second demos. It was actually like, you could actually like play this whole demo for like at least like a good like three to five minutes. It's mostly, but it mostly uh, contained okay. only what was happening okay. at the beginning until you get to a certain part in which you will see very soon. Yeah, well, like I said, you can really, you can really just mess around the demo and everything like that. If it wasn't for the demo, then I wouldn't know about this game. And if I'd never played the demo, I would have never thought about buying it. And we are purposely going slow here so you can hear all the funny comments that Jack Black makes. Pretty much. So everyone shut up. You know, you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, sorry about killing her, uh, but you're evil though, right? What so the fuck does cool. SNM mean? I didn't even know I could do that. I, I don't no remember. All you can think stuff, of is but, uh, maybe people who like, like, like those punishment charged. shit when having sex. That's all I can think of. Get some answers. Huh? By your good graces. Uh -oh. I don't know. That leather gear and all that. I don't know, maybe a quick rock of the wiki will probably help out with that. See what happens when you say good graces when it comes around evil beings. The axe. See come for it as well. No, but these guys jump And here you meet the second character who is a badass as well in this story. She oh God, her name slips my mind right now. Ophelia. Ophelia, yes. Is she a protagonist or an yeah, yeah, protagonist. She's a protagonist, even though I'll, even though the nah, other characters think she's It's been a while since I've taken my English class. Who? It's been a while. It's been a whole year since I've taken English class from high school. And what the hell are you taking in college then? Uh, financial accounting, believe it or not. Interesting. And that's mostly about numbers. I can understand because it's accounting, dude. So what did you say? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the way you have to do it is like fucking retarded. You have to. You know, everything. Even though it's the same thing you've been doing the entire time in the accounting, it's just, if it's word, worded just a little bit different, you have to do something completely different with the numbers. It, it's kind of stupid. Oh, well, duly noted. I'll never take financial accounting ever then. No, it's, it's fun. You should do it, because then you get to learn how companies get themselves fucked over several times, or they fuck other people over. And it'll determine whether or not you actually are getting paid what you could be getting paid. Well, you should know that when, you get, when you're when you working at a job and stuff like that, you know, the government does yeah, well, take a percentage job, of your pay. The job 
will pay you minimum. In California, it's eight dollars an hour. Federal law, it's seven twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah, but the classes and back to the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's your born gamers commentary where we talk about financial accounting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Ethan, Ethan. It's the Monty Python the Holy Grail. Where the fuck's the holy hand grenade of Antioch, damn it? I don't know. But I see a huge ass relic in my way and I feel like I want to raise it. And so you fans know this is called a relic of the a music script from the past so it's your like your music notebook but it's a small rift i do find all the solos in this game Created beauty by same here walking, and what we have here is the druid plow that you will yeah. soon create Woo. i get to upgrade this car later to make it faster stronger and even give it some and awesome badass and give it some more awesome weapons and a paint job if you want but then again, it's kind of required, especially if like you're playing on a much harder difficulty, especially when you're going to battles. You, well, it's required that you have a primary weapon and a secondary weapon. Whether uh, how much powerful it is, that's your choice. And the paint jobs. Well, the electric, well, the electric and speed. Well, the electric cannon has always worked really well. Yeah, I always preferred the Gatling gun myself. Well, I preferred the Gatling gun at first but later i would like to get the you know the electric cannon you know that actually shoots out the lightning because it actually kills them quicker all right there's also a multiplayer in this game that has three factions that you can play as the awesome metal heads that's led by eddie riggs then you have the goths that who pretty much want to die those kind of people that want to be vampire shit or whatever yeah the drowning of doom i think yeah, and you'll, they'll be led by a protagonist character that you'll find out later in our commentary. And then you have the... what are they called? Cursed ones, or... Well, the guys you're fighting right now. Oh, Tainted Coil. Yeah, Tainted Coil. Yeah. I think Tainted Coil is actually more annoying than the freaking Drowning Doom anyway. They, they are. The Drowning Doom's pretty easy to handle. Yeah, it really is. I mean, the only thing that's annoying for the Drowning Doom, especially with their forces, comes to the Grim Reapers, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, those hair... the wigs or whatever? The walking wigs? Oh, well, they can only be a problem they, since... They can always attack you from afar. Well, they yeah, always... I, I can understand that. They're long-distant enemies, but, like, I don't know. It's something about the Grim Reapers is just more annoying because they just run around all spiraculously, and then they shoot lightning at you, too, and it's just... Oh, God, it gets so fucking annoying. 